Science Unscripted. Hello and welcome to Science Unscripted. It's Connor here. And Gabe, and this is my Dave Matthews Band t-shirt. I went to a concert. What, a recent a, a, show in a Clean week Germany. ago, yeah. Yeah, the first date I've been on with my wife in about 15 years and change. That's too long. Yeah. Um, Dave Matthews Band, was. they were popular when I was, I don't know, in my teens in high school. My my brother didn't like them because he said that Dave Matthews, the, the, the lyrics, he didn't like the lyrics. He thought, thought they were stupid. And what? he gave me a Bob Dylan CD. Okay. The Times They Are okay. Changed and written yeah. in 1963 because he said that those lyrics were way smarter than the Dave Matthews band Really? Lyrics. Are they? I don't know. Dave Matthews has pretty complex lyrics. I like him too. I, I think they're wonderful lyrics. And if that were the argument, you could say today that the music coming out today or the, the popular bands of today, the lyrics aren't as good. I gotcha. Okay, so Bob Dylan is older than Dave Matthews, hence older music 20 years is go better. by. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, and that it, takes it, us... It, it lends to this argument, as time goes on, music is in decline, it's getting stupider, the lyrics are getting stupider. Is, is there any truth to that? That is the topic today. What is the science behind song lyrics? Are they getting dumber? We're going to speak to Eva Tsangerla, who has analyzed hundreds of of thousands of songs to figure that out. Science Unscripted. Hi, my name is Eva Zangerle. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Innsbruck, and we are doing research in the field of music information retrieval, where we just published a new manuscript. Eva, are songs getting stupider? <laughs> I wouldn't say stupider, but I'd say simpler. This is basically what we found. So when you say simpler, what, what does that mean exactly? Um, so simpler can be captured by a number of things. Uh, it, for us, it was, for one, it gets more repetitive. So we, we see individual num uh, lines repeated over and over again, but also a full structural element being repeated over and over again, like a chorus being repeated more often, but also the uh, the vocabulary is is getting um, uh, smaller, basically. So we are using less diverse words in lyrics. And what songs were you looking at, or how did you arrive at the conclusion that that songs are getting more repetitive, that they're getting simpler? Uh, so we analyzed a set of three hundred fifty thousand songs uh, for which we extracted the lyrics. And what we then did is we came up with um, a set of, of descriptors. You know, how often is a line repeated? How often is a chorus repeated? How diverse are the words? And we computed this for five genres and uh, for a time range of 40 years. 40 years. So in 40 years, we've gone from more complex, less repetitive music to less complex, very repetitive music. Uh, that was one of the findings. It, it, music getting simpler and the other ones were, were what exactly other things have changed um yeah so we also looked at for example uh, sentiment so the mood uh, that that's that's conveyed by the lyrics so uh, we see uh, more negative emotions being being you know um, scripted in the lyrics we see more anger uh, in the lyrics and less positive emotions and that that songs are becoming more self obsessed let me, let me take one of those 350,000 songs. <laughs> I'm assuming that you looked at this one. This is a very popular one. Uh, Miley Cyrus. I, I didn't want to leave you. I didn't want to lie. Started to cry, but then I remembered I. I can buy myself flowers, write my name in the sand, talk to myself, things. I, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> songs didn't used to do that. So I guess this is a quite extreme example, but yes, we found that uh, personal pronouns are getting more, you know, more and more appearing in, in, in lyrics and it gets more self-centered in the end. Yes. I know this probably goes beyond the realm of what you actually studied and, and we're going into speculation here, but why, why would this be the case? Why in 40 years would music become simpler? I think this has to do with the way that music is produced on the one hand and, and uh, consumed on the other end, basically. So we have seen, um, you know, 
a, a transformation from going to, into the store, buying CDs, to having hundreds of millions of songs available on streaming platforms. Uh, on the and on the other hand, uh, the way music is produced is more and more optimized for streaming platforms, uh, trying to you know. Uh, avoid people skipping the song within the first 10, 20 seconds. And this means putting everything you have, melody, lyrics, and so on, into the first 20 seconds and making it skip, uh, stick in your head. Um, you have to remember the lyrics. Real, so the pressure to make a catchy song is higher than ever before, but also, isn't, aren't there, there are more songs now? More people Absolutely. producing songs than ever before. Does that, does that have an effect? Absolutely. So, I don't know, 20, 40, 50 years ago, it was hard to, you know, produce a song and also selling it to, you know, somebody. Nowadays, you can, you can produce music in your, in your basement and basically distribute it to, to the world. And, and this obviously also uh, has an impact, yes. And it's not necessarily that, that society is getting stupider or more self-obsessed or that... <laughs> That my dad was right that that pop music has been in decline since <laughs> time immemorial. I think everyone's uh, dad or there, mom there are, has said there are that. A number or of grandma, grandpa going on. Is that I, I definitely would not want to make that claim. No, no, no. <laughs> Eva, what is your favorite song that represents the good old days where music was complex and lyrically complicated and and not self-absorbed, and then the opposite, a song probably from the last couple of years, where the lyrics are entirely self-absorbed, they're, they're, they're completely simplified. Do you have any that immediately I, come to mind? Actually, I didn't check for my like favorites. Uh, <laughs> I mean, obviously, uh, probably that's better. <laughs> um, I mean, we have been looking at, like, uh, I don't know, Bruce Springsteen, for example, in the 80s, had quite, you know, lengthy... Uh, lyrics and nowadays, what was the, the example that that you had previously? Was it Miley Cyrus? Miley Cyrus. Yeah. I, I think this is a very good example for, for love that you song. Know, what have changed? <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I mean it doesn't. That this doesn't mean that that the song is less good or or or, or something like that. It's mm. pure data driven analysis of lyrics. What we did, we do not want to judge like aesthetics or or something like that. I think that's quite important to mention. Science unscripted. That was Eva Zangerle speaking to us from Innsbruck, Austria, Südtirol. If that if that helps. South. I don't. It's, it's a beautiful. Beautiful, It's a beautiful place. I love Innsbruck, Austria. Yeah. If you have a chance, visit there. Real quick. Uh, to be fair to Miley Cyrus, and that's really important to be fair to her. Um, she is. Those songs might be self-referential and I I I. She borrowed that song adapted it from a Bruno Mars song that was also about himself. Mm -hmm. Also very self-referential. I'll read it real quick. The, the original chorus was, I should have bought you flowers and held your hand, should have gave you all my hours when I had the chance, take you to every party because all you wanted to do was dance. Now my baby's dancing, but she's dancing with another man. He really messed up and he lost his girl. And in Miley's song, mm. she's kind of happy to be the girl who got away from that guy, right? So they're, they're kind of different songs, but I just want to say that Bruno is also very Bruno Mars, self-referential. Yeah. Everyone's doing it. And yet I still like his song. I like his song. I like I, both I like, songs. I like her I song. I like both songs. And it's a point, to, you know, at the heart of every love triangle is I. <laughs> right? <laughs> Are these love triangles? I think it's a normal two-person well, relationship. now he's mad about it. You know, oh, I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah, just for the record, and this is kind of neither here minute. nor there anymore, but I did print out two examples of songs from the past that I think are lyrically complex and interesting and not... No, what do you, they are... What do, you, what, do you, what do you got? They are self-absorbed. That's what was fascinating about them. They are about the eye. It was um, a song by Joni Mitchell, Both Sides Now. Um, Come on, let's hear it. Let's hear it. I've looked at clouds from both sides now, from up and down, and still somehow... It's Cloud's illusion, I recall. I really don't know Cloud's at all. She's not talking about Cloud's. She's talking about love and human relationships, and Cloud's are a metaphor for that. Metaphor, yeah. So metaphor is a little different than, than whining about yourself, which well, is, it's, according to the, the arguments by Eifert Sangerle or the study, that you hear more of that, and it's, re 
repetitive. Instead of talking about the clouds and these exactly in these so, deep yeah, and, the, and it keeps changing. Just, it keeps changing. The yeah. course keeps changing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last example: The Wind by Cat Stevens. I I listen to the wind, to the wind of my soul, where where I'll end up. Well, I think only God really knows. Not a single lyric repeats. I don't. Well, no, they don't. Um, I've swam upon the devil's lake, but never, never, never. I'll never make the same mistake. Never, never, never. It's lyrically complex. The imagery is vivid. And um, I'm sure there are people doing that still mm. today. Who are they? I guess that's my question for everyone out yeah. there. Who yeah. represents all of these good things today? Because Gabe and I are kind of missing the boat on that one. Yeah, I mean, just what, what do you guys have to say about this topic? Everyone has to have something to say about this topic. Are songs getting simpler? More repetitive, more self-obsessed, dumber. Well, the evidence says let, yes. But do, a, you, do you do you? What feel do you that guys way? think? Yeah. let us know. Su at dw.com or leave a comment. Thank you and good listening. 